Okay, so Material UI installation is super easy. Like I'm talking converting standard table to Material UI table is like super, super easy. So we go to documentation. I'm gonna link it in the description below. So we're gonna npm install all of this. Default installation. Okay, so we copy, we paste. So run this command, it will install your material UI, material emotion react, and then emotion styled. Check your package JSON, it should be there. Now, the reason why I'm not going to do this is because this is a working computer. I'm talking about this uh, work computer and uh, our material UI is slight, could be slightly older version because we also have old Angular in our app and we have to run older versions of Node to run AngularJS. I'm talking like old AngularJS. Otherwise, the app is not going to work, right? So that's why I have, I could have slightly different versions, but fundamentally, it's exactly the same, right? So, okay, so now that you have it installed, let's create a new component, uh, MUI table, JS, put basic table into it, right? Import it, I already have it imported. Okay. So now you should have this if you're following my videos. Okay, now we need to convert it, convert this table into material UI table, which is super easy to do. So go to documentation. Okay, so I need to remember to link this in the description below. So MUI install like this. Okay. So you go to components and then you just control F table. Mm. Okay. The best way is to do like this, material UI, components. Huh. Interesting. Oh, because I'm trolling, that's why. Yeah, so we'll look for table, and then we literally just take this, and then we are going to be copy and pasting. Now, it works out of the box, so if you don't want to follow the tutorial, by all means, just replace, uh, replace all HTML table elements with material UI, and it's going to work. The only difference... Is you need to create this wrapper. I have not checked if it works or not without it, but they recommend using it, so I'm gonna use it, you know. There's usually a reason why they use it, right? And everything else is pretty much copy and paste, so table gets replaced by table. Table head gets replaced by table head. Table row gets replaced by table row. Oh, whoops. There, there could be some kind of... Yeah, so they recommend adding this. So I'm just going to be copying and pasting basically from here. From the table. From, from here, you see. So if there's any, like, CSS or whatever... I'm probably not gonna use alignment right, honestly. I don't need it. Okay. So this will be table cell. This will be table cell, like this. So that's our headers done. Table body is gonna be replaced by table body.
That's stable row. And that's stable cell, I think, right? Stable cell. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It works right out of the box, you see? Now you can style it if you want, but I mean, it's, it's up to you, you know? Okay, take care. Bye-bye.